we've talked about this before, but this is actually this is a film school film. Um, I think it was a halfway film. I don't know what we call it in Germany. It wasn't just a graduation film originally, was it? Yeah, but it ended up being the final film, didn't it? It was the final film. How do you go about making a film like this as as a graduation film? Normally here we see short films and, and different things, but but this is a very substantial piece of cinema. I have to think how to answer the question. Um, there was a certain budget for sure for everybody, and um, it's true that most, all the other uh, people who were doing some film um, did some film on film, mostly 16 millimeter short films. And um, I was uh, doing a film before, um, 75 minutes um, on film. And I was using video images like inserts, and uh, I was filming them uh, on. Uh, they were done on video, and then transferred to to, uh, to film. And I liked very much uh, the aesthetical effect, so it was much more grainy. The colors were strange. And I was thinking, why not to do a whole film like this? And uh, in this time, it was shot in 1993. Um, video was mostly used for um, uh, video clips and. Uh, so I thought, why not to make a whole film with a video camera, but later on film. So the concept was from the beginning to shoot on video and to uh, bring it on film. And um, yeah, then I took uh, the camera and um, I was uh, looking for the actors and um, started to shoot. <laughs> and at the end it was uh, this movie. How did the film school feel about that? It was very difficult because um, um, the director, which was uh, the director in this time, uh, he didn't like the movie, it was too slow for him, and uh, he said it might be maybe a good short film, but it's not a film, and I had a long fight with him to, uh, to do the transfer to film. So he didn't want to uh, allow me to, uh, to do it, to give me the budget, and it was a long, a long, long fight. I was, there were moments when I was uh, completely desperate and were afraid that uh, the film never would exist. But finally, uh, it worked out and I did it. How did the film do afterwards? It was, um, it was screened in Munich first time in 1994. And uh, in Munich, uh, it was uh, picked for the festivals in Toronto and San Sebastian and other festivals in the world. So I was traveling a lot with the movie. And in '95, I received uh, the German uh, National Film Award for the film which was a surprise for also for many people, and um, so that was the way the film went. And I'm guessing a surprise for the, the head of the film school also. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, do any of you have any questions, or do I get to, to ask a bit more? The main actress uh, um, I knew before because um, I was uh, acting with her in a short film and I met her there and um, we both decided that uh, we should do a film together one day. And it took a little time but uh, when uh, I had the idea for this film I asked her to do it and um, the main uh, actor, he's not an actor, he's um, an opera singer from Moscow. And uh, I had another actor in mind, a Russian uh, actor living in East Berlin. And um, in 1993, uh, still, uh, there were a lot of um, apartments in East Berlin without telephone. And the actor I had in mind had no telephone. So I went to his place and uh, I left a message for him in his letterbox, telling to call me because I would like to make a film with him. And uh, some days later, some Russian guy called me and left a message on my answering machine and uh, in Russian and didn't understand. So I asked the actress to come to my place and we listened to it. And this person said that uh, he's a friend of the actor I was looking for and that the actor is not in Berlin, and uh, but he's living in his place. And he is from Moscow and he's an opera singer and uh, for all his life he wanted to do a movie. And, um, if I agree, I, he can play this and uh, we can be. 
So um, I agreed to meet him together with the actress and we talked and I told him my idea and um, he liked it and I liked him very much. Mm -hmm. So we decided to do it and um, that was the way he ended up in the film. And the um, South American um, man in the film is, uh, he, he's a, a, a theater actor in uh, Germany. to deal with these boxes where you are putting me and some other people. Um, you can talk about your hopelessness I didn't, again if you want. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't, I didn't talk about hopelessness yesterday. I talked about hope. So um, that's yeah, a big difference. Hope, right? And uh, I just talked about the concept of hope. And yeah. um, that, uh, for example, this film, like the film from yesterday, both don't deal with the question of hope. It's not the topic. It's not a film about hope or hopelessness, and uh, yesterday it was not a film about hope or the opposite. So I think they are beyond this question. Mm. The film uh, shows uh, people who are struggling and um, who behave in a certain way and uh, who are in danger and um, who try to somehow save their fragile life, and, uh, and they don't give up. So I don't see any hopelessness in this film because they are fighting. And in the end, for example, the woman, when she is uh, she's falling once, when she's in the street, she stands up and goes on. And when she is waking up in the forest, she goes on. She stands up and is standing straight and goes. So she does not give up. Yesterday the same, the film. From yesterday, they don't give up. They, they try to find a way. And as long as people fight, there is not hopelessness. But I think uh, the concept of hope is uh, it's a concept which is uh, something to talk about, for sure, because uh, many times, uh, and you were now doing almost the same, um, watching the films have the feeling they are gloomy or they are hopelessness, and ask, but where is the hope in this film? And I think we have to, maybe we, have, we don't have to, but I think it's interesting to um, somehow to say goodbye to the, to, the, to, the, to the ideology of hope, and it can be quite interesting to live without hope and to live without fear, to lose these concepts and to, to really think about what, what do I really hope for. I mean, it's a fact, for example, that we are, we, are, we are mortal, we will die. Each of us will die one day, there's no doubt. And there would, it would not be even a reasonable hope that it would not happen. It would be much more reasonable to forget this hope and to, uh, to face it and to think about uh, what does it mean for my life if I accept this. So I think uh, in this case, and it's a good example, hope would be just a very ridiculous uh, concept and it would uh, um, drive us away from our life. We would miss the point. And I think like, in, like the concept of hope, like other concepts, many times we cover the real life with concepts and we miss the point because we are, long, we are going for the concepts. But I think it's more interesting to go for the real thing. And we are very afraid of, there's a lot of fear in life, we are afraid of many, many things. And we are somehow paralyzed by these fears. And most of these fears are concepts, they are uh, speculations, but they have nothing to do with uh, the real uh, uh, life, the real events, the real happening. So I think it can be interesting to go beyond the concept of fear and beyond the concept of hope. And it is possible to live without hope, it does not mean to be hopelessness. It's uh, maybe the opposite. So um, and I think there's a lot of hope and there's nothing gloomy in these films. I think they're quite realistic. And, um, uh, and I try to, to take the human being uh, uh, serious. If 
But if you take the human being serious, you have to take the human being serious in all its aspects. You cannot uh, eliminate the dimension. So if, uh, if you have, for example, um, a three-dimensional uh, object, you have to really uh, uh, deal with the three dimensions of this object, of this object, not just to eliminate one and to make a two-dimensional. And uh, to take the human being serious means to uh, take his darkness serious, to take his fragili fragility serious to take his uh, uh, aggression serious, to take his fear serious, and everything what comes from this. Lies, um, betrays, uh, 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 violence, whatever. It's all part of us. We are not angels. We all know this. So it would be completely uh, cynical, I think, to eliminate this element and um, to pretend that the human being is a, a, a happy cartoon or whatever. We, we are not. So I, I think agree, this, I, I and that's why I would say that these are not gloomy films, and they're not hopelessness. They show people who suffer for sure, and I think for all of us, in different degrees, reality is uh, an experience also of pain, of suffering. We cannot imagine any human being's life without the experience of, of, of pain or suffering. But the question is how we, uh, how, we, how we deal with this, if we go on or if we uh, are desperate, if we, if we stop. And in these films, for example, they go on, they fight, they try to continue somehow. And this is a question of, uh, of dignity. And as long as there is dignity, there is not uh, hopelessness. So that's my answer to this point. Thank you. And um, your other question with uh, films of other directors, I think everybody has its own its own way and its own perspective and their own uh, way to reflect about life, their own way to um, to use um, the camera, the lighting, the actors, uh, the narration, the possibilities cinema give cinema gives us or the film gives us. And um, I don't uh, I don't judge. I think there are some some. Uh, uh, let's say some, some filmmakers, or it's even not in film, some artists, some writers, musicians, whatever, they're closer and some are not so close. Some are on your way and some are not on your way. And that's, uh, that's all. And some maybe are closer. Some are less close, but I think it's, uh, life is too rich to, 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 and we would be stupid if we would limit, uh, uh, limit it. So it's, everybody should do his film and his way um, to express himself. That's uh, the answer. <laughs>